In this demonstration, we will generate a profile station elevation report for the proposed design and for the existing surface. To generate the report for the proposed design, we will choose Tools, XML Reports, Station Base. In the Station Base report, we will go to the General Leaf and choose the centerline alignment in the From box. On the Include Leaf, we will choose the interval we want to report at. And in the horizontal alignments leaf, we will choose the same centerline alignment that we chose on the general tab. When we hit apply, the report browser will come up. And we'll choose the profile station elevation.xsl. This gives us the elevation of the alignment coming from the active vertical alignment. To generate a report of the existing ground elevations along the center line, we will first have to import the center line as a feature into the existing ground and drape it. To do this, we will go to File, Import, Surface, choose the From Graphics tab. We will put this feature into the existing surface. We will load it from a single element and drape the surface for its elevations we will drape the existing ground surface. We will give it a feature name centerline in existing, a feature style of bench, and a point type of break line. When we hit apply, we'll select the centerline that was generated from the geometry view horizontal annotation command, and the feature gets added. Now to generate the station elevation report along that feature, we'll go back to the station base command. On the general tab, we'll choose that same center line alignment, the same interval on the include tab. We will turn off the horizontal alignment on the horizontal alignment sleeve. And under features, we'll choose the feature that was imported and draped on the existing ground. Now we'll choose the station base coordinates report. We'll see that the station and the elevation of that feature are given. And we'll see that the offset is all zero because that feature was generated along the center line. If we want to see both the existing and the proposed elevations, we can use another report, the profile existing proposed elevation.xsl. That'll give us the elevations of the active vertical as well as the elevations of the existing ground.